am going to be here on behalf of Linda uh, oh boy, Chambers Bradshaw. And uh, I am so happy to be here in, in the Will Rogers uh, High School. I was here a, a couple of years ago for the big gala, and it was such fun. And I got to be backstage then, and I've been backstage tonight. They call it the green room, but uh, I didn't see much green in there, but I saw a lot of great people. And uh, I was happy to be among them. And um, I uh, have always been a friend of Linda's and um, her family. She and Wayne make a great team. And in 1979, they made the uh, Tulsa Gymnastic World. Uh, and they needed to do this because their children were the ready to do gymnastics and there wasn't anybody to do it in Tulsa to teach them or to help with them. So they made their own company and built their own business to further all of these young people in Tulsa. It's been a real pleasure and a blessing for them, as well as for their girls and their grandchildren. Uh, I uh, grew up in Chelsea until I was nine years old. Chelsea was up the road here on the famous 66 historical now highway. And uh, my grandmother Maud Rogers Lane uh, was a sister of Will Rogers. He was the youngest of the family. And um, Aunt Sally McSpadden was the oldest sister. And my grandmother Maud was next. And then the sister May Stein was next. And then little Willie came. And um, that made the four of the uh, children that grew to be adults. And so, um, we lived at grandmother's house, and it was called Sunset Farm. And so in uh, 2009, I got to go back to that house the very first time since I had been there only when I was 10 years old and left. And um, my good friend Linda was one that insisted that we do it, and she kept after me. And then my good friend Carolyn uh, Wilcox went with us, and um, Ollie Starr, and Farrell uh, Prather, and uh, Neva, uh, uh, let's see, Kinley, and uh, myself. And it was really walking back in time. They say you can't go back to your old home. And I did it, and I found it like it was. It had been uh, damaged by fires, and it had uh, quite a lot of changes. And still, it was the same for me. I could walk through it and just see us all there as a family, my aunts and, and my dad and mother and brothers and sisters. Also, I could see the pictures uh, in my mind of Uncle Will when he was there and my grandmother was ill and bed fast. And, and um, so uh, I was there at that time and he was always so sweet to his sisters. And uh, he felt very sad when uh, my grandmother passed away. Uh, my family changed uh, places and sold the farm. And uh, we went to Bartlesville, and that was just uh, back in 1928. And um, so we lived there, and uh, I st uh, was there when Uncle Will's plane crash was in Alaska. And um, we went through all of that, and, uh, but all the in-between times, I got to travel with Uncle Will. He would come into the airport at Tulsa, and uh, we would meet him and take him different places around the state. And uh, Linda was in on a lot of things later, but see, she, she's much younger than I am. <laughs> and so uh, 
when, uh, on my 90th birthday, 28 of us flew out of Tulsa to go to Washington, D.C. to celebrate my 90th birthday. And uh, they were all Pocahontas girls and friends. Um, uh, Linda was one of them. And we went one night to see the Amelia Earhart movie. And I was, I was just so enthralled, and I said, oh, I remember this, I remember this. And when we came out, I was talking about it, and to Linda, just like this, she was right there with me when this all happened. And she said, Coke, I wasn't even born yet. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I'm doing too much talking about me. <laughs> I love her. I love her. I, I love her. Yeah. I, I, I had notes written. And she I, did. And they told me, no, no, don't bring those out here. Just come out and talk. <laughs> She's supposed to introduce me. <laughs> I, and I do. And Linda uh, Charmers Brad uh, Shaw is uh, the class of 1960, and she is a nomination for the the Hall of Fame for this famous, wonderful high school. I, I, I am going to have a video now to show you about Lynn. Linda Chambers Bradshaw is known by many in the Tulsa community as the owner of Tulsa World of Gymnastics. Others know her as the one who took Will on the Hill to heart, becoming a leading authority on the man, Will Rogers. After graduating from the University of Tulsa with a degree in music, she studied at the Princeton New School for Piano Pedagogy. Linda became a docent at the Will Rogers Memorial and Museum in Claremore, Oklahoma in 2008 and currently sits on the board of directors for the Will Rogers Memorial Foundation. She was named coordinator of their first ever major fundraiser and founded the Rotary sponsored Will Rogers Gala, which annually honors a person who most exemplifies the attributes of Will Rogers. She was instrumental in protecting and preserving the rare portrait of Will Rogers by Italian artist Count Arnaldo Tamburini, which was presented to the school in 1954 and hung there until 1997. It was permanently loaned to the Gilcrease Museum in order to provide climate control, light protection, and improved security. A high quality photographic copy now hangs in the school. Linda was the first woman to hold the office of president of the Tulsa Rotary Club and has been a major participant in their water well project in Nicaragua. She has served as meet director for USA Gymnastics Olympics qualifying events.
In addition, she has worked with the Tulsa Chamber of Commerce and the United Way. She has coached Special Olympics Gymnastics and served on the board of Tulsa Advocates for the Rights of Citizens with Developmental Disabilities, TARC. She was an Oklahoma delegate to the White House Conference on Small Business in 1995, and that same year was named Tulsa Chambers Small Business Person of the Year. prestigious recognition into the Will Rogers High School Hall of Fame. It would be 53 years ago that I stood on this stage, probably perhaps at this same podium, and read the uh, class bulletin because I served as the class secretary for the class of 1960. And our lariat would read, for those of you who aren't high school graduates, that's our yearbook. 1960 it would read in the very beginning and all our yesterdays made this a fabulous frantic year Ike and Nikita exchanged house calls man photographed the backside of the moon Oklahoma emerged from a 50-year drought Tulsa grew to seven high schools and we laughed and played and worked and wept and from these meaningful days we look forward to all our tomorrows. I never dreamed, ladies and gentlemen, that one of my tomorrows would bring me back to this stage. And so to the Will Rogers Community Foundation members and to all who organized and worked tirelessly to make this evening so special for all the honorees, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. This honor is even more special to me because I shared it tonight with my dear friend, Coke Meyer. She is very special to the Rogers family, as you heard tonight, and she knows that I am a true student of her Uncle Will. The traditions of this school have been honored many times by the successes that its graduates have had, and the great traditions of leadership. I must mention Dr. Raymond Knight, who served as a commissioner for the Will Rogers Memorial for almost 20 years, and also Roy Lewis, Nora Cook, her leadership legacy, and all of the uh, principals and professors over the years. The last 75 years of their service to this great school deserves the very best that we as alumni can be. Our alma mater, thou art strong and true. Thy name shall live in the deeds thy children do. Thy gift shall be in life our guide. What great words to live by. Well, Rogers left us millions of words as well to live by. My personal favorite, live your life so that whenever you lose, you are ahead. I accept this award tonight and this honor in recognition of all those who have been in my life and who have been a contributing factor for any of the successes that I may have had. And no acceptance speech would be complete without mentioning mom. So I'll not be an exception. Perhaps my best lessons from my mom would be learned as I spent my hours and days at the piano. Mistakes and wrong notes over and over. And she always said with love in her voice, play it again, Linda Lee, play it again. And so I have, and I did, and I will, for all of our tomorrows are precious. Thank you very much for this lovely recognition.